ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਅਸ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਦ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਮਹਾਰਾਜਾ ਰਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਫਾਈ ਨੇਮਸ ਆਰ ਇੰਟਾਈਟਲ ਟੂ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਮਹਾਰਾਜਾ ਕਮ ਵਾਕ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਟੂਡੇ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੋਰ ਦੋਸ ਨੇਮਸ ਨੇਮ ਨੰਬਰ 1 ਸ਼ੇਰ ਏ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਿਸ ਨੇਮ ਇਸ ਰਿਟਨ ਇਨ ਫਾਰਸੀ ਪਰਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦ ਨੇਮ ਯੂ ਫਰਸਟ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਇਸ ਰਿਟਨ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਏ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਇਸ ਰੈਡ ਰਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਲੈਫਟ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਏ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਵਿਚ ਮੀਨਸ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਔਰ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦ ਲਾਇਨ ਆਫ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦ ਰੋਅਰ ਆਫ ਅ ਲਾਇਨ ਇਸ ਹਰਡ ਥਰੂ ਆਵਰ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ 18th ਸੈਂਚਰੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਸਿਕਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਜੋਤੀ ਜੋਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਨ 1708 ਵੀ ਹੈਡ ਸਮ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਨਵਾਬ ਕਪੂਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਲਾਈਕ jassa singh aluwalia after jassa singh aluwalia the sikh panth did not have a strong leader this is where the lion maharaja rajit singh comes into the picture the grandfather of maharaja rajit singh sardar chart singh was the commander of the sukhra chakiya missile the sukhra chakiya missile was one missile out of 12 that ruled over different territories in punjab in the late 18th century After the passing of Sardar Charit Singh, Sardar Charit Singh's son, Sardar Maha Singh, takes control of the Sukhra Chakya missile. Eventually, the leadership of the Sukhra Chakya missile finds its way into the laps of Maharaja Rajit Singh. At the tender age of 17, Maharaja Rajit Singh leads the Sukhra Chakya missile. And not only that missile, but they show their capabilities to the other missiles as well that they are competent enough to lead all the missiles together zaman shah a afghan invader comes to loot india at the same age of 17 maharaja rajit singh defeats zaman shah again the next year zaman shah comes back but he's he's soon to be sent home once again from the maharaja with defeat this is how the lion roared in punjab after these victories all the all the 11 missiles join themselves with maharaja ranjit singh seeing that Mara, the maharaja is a great leader for them in this way maharaja ranjit singh takes control of the capital of punjab the political capital named lahore this brings us to our second name lahore de maharaj lahore is captured in 1799 once lahore falls at the feet of maharaja ranjit singh The Maharaja works his way to capture Amritsar as well. In 1801, after capturing Amritsar, Rajiv Singh is officially crowned as Maharaja of Punjab, the ruler of Punjab. This leads us to the third name, Panj Daryama De Malik, the master of the five rivers. When Maharaja Rajiv Singh was crowned Maharaja in 1801 on Vasakhi, they became the ruler of the five rivers. What we know as Punjab today is only the eastern part of Punjab. Punjab actually falls in two countries. You have Pakistan and you have India. The Pakistan Punjab is called Landa Punjab or the western Punjab. The the Punjab from India is called Charda Punjab or the eastern Punjab. Two rivers out of the five rivers of Punjab are actually in modern day Pakistan. Rivers like Chenab and Jhelum. They fall in the western part of, uh, of Punjab on the eastern Punjab you have river Bias Ravi and Satluj the rule of Maharaja Rajiv Singh spread throughout the five rivers all the way to Multan even to cities like Peshawar Peshawar was once a city of Afghanistan all the way to the west but because of Maharaja taking it over it is now part of modern day Pakistan then maharaja's rule went all the way north to Jammu and Kashmir and to east into places like Anandpur Sahib the rule of the king spread throughout the five rivers purab de napoleon the napoleon of the east napoleon bonaparte was a french military leader who acquired france from the french revolution In 1799, Napoleon took over France and then started to expand towards Europe. 
he effectively became the emperor of much of Europe. Comparatively, Maharaja Rajiv Singh took over Lahore in 1799 as we just heard. Maharaja Rajiv Singh took much inspiration from the Europe. He strived to modernize his army. He strived to revolutionize them in the shape of the newest technology and the newest strategies of warfare. To modernize his army, Rajiv Singh hired up to a hundred Western soldiers. Soldiers from Italy, like John Baptiste. Soldiers from France, like John Francis. And soldiers even all the way from America, like Alexander Gardner. Born in Wisconsin, was an American soldier. He travels all across Asia, makes his way to Punjab, finds, the, finds his way into the Maharaja's palace, into his rule shows the Maharaja his skills. Maharaja Rajiv Singh hires him as a colonel of his artillery forces. All of these are efforts of a king to make sure his army is so secure, is so ready, tiyar bar tiyar, to make sure that any enemy can never defeat them. Now, this brings us to the fifth and final name for the Maharaja, sarkar e khalsa or the Sarkar of the Khalsa. To understand the word Sarkar, we need to break into two parts. Sar literally means head, which re represents the quality of leadership, the one who leads face first. Kar means works, responsibilities. Sarkar means the one that leads in the front and takes care of the people that are following him. Sarkar e Khalsa means the one that did save of the Khalsa, that worked for the Khalsa. The time of Punjab when Maharaja Raji Singh was in rule was such there was a beautiful atmosphere, a beautiful environment for arts to flourish. Trade, literature, arts were flourishing in that time. Different people from all parts of creativity were flowing into Punjab. Artists, authors, traders, and in this period Maharaja Raji Singh especially focused on the Khalsa. There was special state funding for six scholars. It was this time period where great works like Sri Nanak Prakash was written. It was this time period when our scholars had the time and the funding to sit down and to become intellectual once again. All thanks to this great period. The Maharaja respected the six scholarly community. A Granthi Singh of Harmandir Sahib at that time, whose name was Gyanni Sant Singh Ji, the teacher, the Vidya Data of Gyanni Santok Singh Ji. Upon the recommendations of Gyanni Sant Singh, the Maharaja covered Harmandir Sahib in gold. Such a Maharaja who put their scholars on a pedestal might have never been in history before. These for the five names of Maharaja Raji Singh. Please forgive us for our mistakes. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh.